Greetings and a warm welcome to all. Today it's about understanding the energies of Rahu in Pisces and in Revati Nakshatra. Rahu will behave differently with each of these three nakshatras of Pisces. And this will be one of the most important transit of 2023 that may change everything forever and can bring a new start in our life. It's a new cycle for Rahu through the zodiac impacts our goals, planning, future and all the actions in a significant manner. Rahu will be in Pisces from 30th of October 2023 till 18th of May 2025 for 18 months. Rahu is a shadow planet, a significant point that is strongly associated with our desires, our thoughts, future, materialistic side of our life and all kinds of mysteries that are surrounding us. Pisces on the other hand is a sign associated with spirituality, deep meditation, letting go, intuition, our dreams, imaginations and the world of fantasies. Both these energies are opposite to each other. Mercury, the lord of Revati, gets weak in Pisces. Pisces is our emotional world. Rahu and Mercury both are complete mind game. Getting things done with the power of mind, using our thoughts, our communication, creating an illusion. There can be an ongoing struggle for choosing the sides here, whether to choose our head, our mind or our heart, our intuition, whether to let go of our desires or hold on to our goals. The combination of an airy planet in a watery sign along with the expansiveness of Lord Jupiter all these can give deep emotional thinking on everything around us and there are chances of getting lost in those waves of emotions those thoughts leading to no action so it is very important to understand rahu's energy here rahu is transiting from fire to water element and can be very passive initially the focus changing from the self now leaving behind all the attachments with self the i and the me in us the self centric world and dissolving in water being one with the ocean this can be very challenging and demands tough letting go it is the time to cleanse and heal before we start our new journey for next 18 months the smartness of rahu can have mental struggle for acceptance of the new circumstances there can be lot of questions with this change and the question is why why things that worked so far is not working anymore and there is no logical answer to this it is the time to transform the approach lay a little low on our analytics our cleverness and our confidence start to understand the emotions devotion the collective wellness of everyone in our everyday task Rahu in Pisces and especially in Revati nakshatra will be a reminder to the energies of Rahu that he is just the agent of Saturn the lord and the judge of our karma Rahu in Revati can help us make quick changes just stay flexible and have an open mindset it is the time to drop our guards down 
make some adjustments in our daily routine to just start with on a mental level don't think of making any sudden and big changes well rahu is in revati with rahu everything starts with just one thought an idea a desire or a goal that changes everything rahu transits pisces every 18 years the previous transit of rahu in pisces was in 2005 and previous to that it was in 1986 depending on your time period that time and the natal placement of rahu and jupiter you must have experienced some major shift in energies at least at mental level or a significant closure somewhere in your life it could be a start of a new beginning just at the mental level with some new desire to achieve something do recollect your experience and how you have handled those events especially observe the time when rahu crossed aries ashwini gandanta and entered revati pisces sign you can understand the intensity of the upcoming change with those reflection the last time it was in march 2005 and previous to that it was in august 1986 for rahu in pisces remembering and using those past experiences can help you manage any such experience with your elevated knowledge and wisdom pisces is symbolized by two fishes swimming in the opposite direction and rahu indicates confusion endless thought process so rahu in pisces can lack clarity and decisiveness Actually it is the time to follow our intuition. It is the time to bring change in our daily routine. When Rahu crosses Aries Gandanta and enters Pisces Revati Nakshatra, we have Rahu and Mercury having 6-8 relation with each other. Not just that, there is nakshatra exchange between Rahu and Mercury. Jupiter and Uranus both aspects Mercury. This clearly indicates some major transformative time. Rahu will transit Revati, Uttara Bhadrapad and Purva Bhadrapad nakshatra in Pisces sign. The only fast moving time is while Rahu is in Revati nakshatra. Mercury is nakshatra. Mercury is a fast moving planet and is the king of this samvat year so the placement and strength of mercury with respect to transit rahu while judging the impact of rahu in revati is very important during these 8 months transit of rahu in revati mercury will be retrograde in fire signs Sagittarius and Aries by the end of December and April 2025 respectively both these times mercury will cross gandanta scorpio and pisces gandanta two times in retrograde motion so the transformation don't end just here there can be repetition till we learn and understand the message of fire element our dharmas our responsibilities our duties towards life and others pisces is the last zodiac sign that carries some qualities of nearly all the previous signs it represents the ocean water and water carries our memories so wherever pisces is placed in our chart we hold lot of past memories with strong emotions and that needs release 
लिब्रेशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विद राहू इन पाइसीज द अप्रोच इज और कैन बी फुल ऑफ विजडम डीप नॉलेज एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ पास्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द रूलरशिप ऑफ जुपिटर इफ नेटल राहू एंड जुपिटर आर स्ट्रॉन्ग इन योर चार्ट देन एंड इट इज वेरी वेल प्लेस्ड देन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट एक्सेलेंट रिजल्ट Jupiter the lord of Pisces is the biggest benefic and slow moving planet capable to give some major positive results Rahu connecting with Jupiter's sign can amplify those results making it big and now we have eclipses in Pisces being the last sign of the zodiac Pisces is associated with expenses losses foreign travels research isolation hospitalization and spirituality also when rahu is placed in pisces it can lead to overspending or wasteful expenses or losses also in terms of health it can lead to chronic or permanent health problems leading to hospitalization in work life our job or our business it can be a challenging time to get some desired results of our hard work but on a positive side it can encourage research work spirituality meditation expenses on charity or some social work it is also our hidden talents It is the time to let go of any unwanted emotions and free yourself from any restrictions. Ashwini and Revati are Gandant nakshatra. That indicates opening of some tough notes, solutions to a long-standing problems and bringing an end to things. this time can give us some memorable experience new lessons of life and certainly an end with a new start see revati is a nourishing nakshatra rahu and mercury can make a fine tune here the symbol of revati is a drum responding to the rhythm of time Now is the time to start something that you always wanted to. Think of everything that you had thought of to start while Rahu was in Ashwini nakshatra. Now with Rahu in Revati, we can actually give shape to those ideas. And Pisces symbolizes two fishes swimming in opposite directions. There can be duality. fluctuating mindset or confusion also as rahu can intensify those mixed feelings can create obstacles and ultimately no action the struggle can be between following our fantasies dreams and the reality in front of us so be careful and avoid overthinking it's best time to be alone reflect on past and look for answers in isolation revati is a auspicious star signifies prosperity and wealth the animal of revati is a female elephant indicates wisdom huge expansion and protection also revati is governed by the deity pushan the nourishing form of the sun god revati creates abundance by providing proper nourishment pushan has the power of nourishment symbolized by milk revati is a female and devgan nakshatra connected with wealth and brings care and happiness so with rahu in revati your wish can get fulfilled expect good food better finances fun travel foreign settlement and a lot of communication deals contract signing 
and a final end of something which is going on for a long time. The deity of Revati, Pushin offers new contacts, references and protection in your chosen direction. Revati indicates a journey and may in fact represent our final journey from this life to the next life. From one stage of our life to the next stage of our life being the last and the final nakshatra of the zodiac. In a way, this deity Pushin also protects the soul in its journey to the next level. But here Rahu moves backward. So Rahu will start a new cycle, pursuing new goals for next 18 years. This transit of Rahu in Revati surrounds an eclipse in October end. There can be major impact considering both Gandanta and Eclipse. But on a positive side, Revati creates abundance through right ways, proper ways, with sharp intelligence, communication, control on all our senses and providing proper nourishment for everyone. It supports everyone in their efforts. Pushin is the lord of cattle, animals. He is the leader who protects and gathers the group of cattle for their journey ahead and shows them, guides them on their direction. Keep in mind these qualities. Use wherever you see a challenging situation and guide others. It can help us to deal with the eclipse energy or any ending that you may go through during this time. With Rahu in Revati, we can expect a start of a new goal, a purpose, a new direction or a path to follow for our future. And have the necessary guidance, divine guidance, new connections and references that can help us in our journey ahead. We shall be assured of divine protection and guidance with Jupiter in Aries. This transit can provide success in politics also and even in our spiritual subjects. But when Jupiter, the optimistic teacher and the preacher of higher values comes in connection with Rahu, the ideals can be compromised with lust, greed or our ambition, desires. Be careful with cheating and fraud through communication in documentation. There can be a lack of confidence. You may become very sensitive and absorb the negative energy, feelings of others and even surroundings. See, Rahu will control your thoughts the most while in Revati. And it is very important to check the strength of Mercury in the natal chart and also in transit with respect to your Rahu. Mercury here is guided by the deity Pushan, a provider, a protector, gentle in nature and known for safe transition. So there are less chances of cheating, but be aware and cautious as Mercury and Rahu both are in dual sign. Both ways things can happen. Rahu signifies mind games, politics, deception, disgrace at times and mental disorders. Whereas Mercury is known for logic, reason, Intelligence, expression of right knowledge, trading and business. When Mercury and Rahu both are connected, then all these significations can be amplified and can expand very quickly in a major way. The same energies can be used for right reasons also. It can be hard to accept the change and the reality in front of us. But if Rahu has malefic influence, then it can lead to cheating, 
manipulation, lack of clarity and stubborn tendencies. In Pisces teaches us to let go of everything that are unwanted in our life and are obstacle on the path of our liberation. It is the time to adapt the qualities of Pisces and Revati nakshatra here which can help us ultimately to move forward in our direction of our destiny. We have Rahu Virgo Tama in Pisces initially. In Navamsha also Rahu will be in Pisces. And Pisces is a moksha sign. It is the time to give and Revati is at the junction point where a new journey of the soul starts with some elevated knowledge. Rahu in Revati is a time to start new, keeping in mind the past experiences, the lessons of those past experiences. Take suggestions and advice from friends and elders before we start something new. Mercury is emotional and weak in Pisces. So not very happy placement for Mercury. But Revati Gandanta brings awareness with knowledge to surrender. Be careful of your fantasy and illusions. Your emotional thinking can put you in trouble. It can be very healing to be nearby some water bodies. To calm yourself and calm those powerful emotions. It will be also very helpful to drink lot of water. Above all, be aware of this impact. And the fact that everyone will be going through some or the other letting go, some changes. So be considerate, kind towards each other and help pass this transit in a right way. That is it for this session. I hope this was helpful. Best wishes to everyone with Rahu in Pisces, especially Revati Nakshatra. Thank you for your time. Do write in your comments and queries and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.